My name is Brent Rice and my title is Training Specialist. Knowing that I'm training individuals to be part of something good in the world and to have this sense of pride that you played a part in that development. I find a lot of meeting with my family um, here at home, playing with my son. As soon as I get off of work at four o'clock, my son's right there at my door. Daddy, can we play hide and seek? Daddy, can we go outside and play? Yeah, I started poetry back in the seventh grade. We all had an assignment and I enjoyed it. <laughs> I found out like, oh, this is something that I like. It was also something that I was good at. My poetry is primarily inspired by things that I've experienced. The same feeling that I felt in that experience, I want other people to feel, to also see uh, what it is that I'm saying. And I liken it to painting a picture with words. Yeah, my mother, um, at a young age, she made sure that I understood my heritage. <laughs> I became kind of obsessed a little bit uh, with, with black history as a kid. Yeah, so my son, now we're being very intentional. So in kind of the same way um, that my mother um, inf influenced me and, and uh, educated me on black history, we're doing the same. So I'm seeing that same passion that I had as a kid um, with him. It's more than making sure that you have an even ratio of cultures that work in your workplace. For me, diversity truly comes home when it is also a culture of diversity and not just hear their voice, but actually listen to it, take it to heart, um, consider it, not just consider it for a few seconds, right? But actually deeply consider what they're saying. We will be surprised at the wealth of knowledge of people who don't really get that, um, that much of an opportunity to speak. Blue has been willing to have the hard conversations. Um, and not only have the hard conversations, but have them in a way where people feel safe to voice their concerns, voice their opinions, like taking those perspectives and really bringing them to heart and saying, okay, what can we as Blue as a company do to make our you know, workers of color uh, feel comfortable? Um, what can we as Blue do to make sure that our LGBTQIA plus employees uh, feel comfortable? So I see Blue really doing the work of listening. I see Blue really doing the work of not just listening, but also considering and applying and implementing those things. So um, I, see them do, I see Blue doing the hard work.